Hey everybody, I'm Seth Jones, Editor-in-Chief of Landscape Management Magazine. Our next guest on LM Home Edition is the President and CEO of the Outdoor Power Equipment Institute, otherwise known as OPEI, an organization which represents the interests of power equipment, small engine and UTV, golf car, and personal transport vehicle manufacturers and suppliers. This organization also hosts the GIE Expo, the Green Industry and Equipment Expo, annually held in Louisville, Kentucky, the largest trade show for the industry, which includes over a thousand exhibitors in a 20 plus demo area, 20 plus acre demo area. Please welcome to the show, Chris Kaiser. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Hi, welcome, welcome to the show. Thanks for Hi, coming on. Seth. You bet. Good to be with you. Thank you for having me. Good, good to see you. Um, so, you know, I, I wrote about it in uh, Landscape Management Magazine a while, like last year after the show, but I looked around the trade show last year and I had about 20 people in, in our booth all wearing landscape management shirts and I thought oh my gosh we got a lot of people here it's a big show obviously we're in a pandemic right now it's strange unusual times so uh our, what's going on for October in the in the GIE Expo we, we packing the crew back up we're getting back on the road again we are um we fully expect to have the 38th annual show again this year in Louisville in October now it may look different it may feel different uh we may change some of the uh the structure of the show and some of the events that just depends on sort of where we are at the time. I think the key is to say flexible. What we need to know now is the show will be held safely and responsibly with your safety in mind. So that may mean wider aisles, one-way aisles, face masks and sanitizers, wiping down the equipment, spacing, safe distancing, changes in the lavatory, changes in the meeting schedule, changes in the rooms, right? The education rooms and the sessions and distancing. Uh, a lot of that will depend on circumstances at the time but right now the show's going to go on but we're going to do it responsibly and with your safety in mind okay good good uh what are you hearing from your from your partners just uh, obviously everybody's been throwing a curveball here and, and things change pretty rapidly uh you you have uh, uh you said you had earlier before we started recording you got a conference call with everybody uh well just can you kind of tell me what the the pulse that you're hearing right now as of uh you know early, we're here in early may you bet um, and I do, I have a call with NALP and PGMS, our partners, our landscape partners and grounds care partners. Um, they very much like OPI want the show to move forward. They want it to move forward safely. Uh, folks are itching to get back outside. Folks are wanting to go back to work. The nice things about our industry and our community, landscapers, hardscapers, dealers, and distributors is these industries are essential and they're at work now. But on our partners with Expo, uh, there's a strong desire to have the show relative to understanding the experience we're living through. This has been a critical time, a disruptive time. A lot of businesses are hurt. A lot of businesses are having to be adaptive. What we want to have Expo do this year is have the kind of interactions and the kind of education where we can learn from this. It's unlikely that this virus business will be put to bed, if you will, um, by October, or that we'll have a vaccine. Uh, it's a new world order, so we don't know what that world looks like, but we can learn from it. Obviously, we're going to go back into the country's going to reopen. The marketplace is going to reopen. People have to work. And under what conditions and circumstances and how, is we, how can we as an industry adapt to these changes? Um, and some of those lessons and some of that education can be had at Expo. It's our family reunion. Our family reunion is how I talk about it. And it's a great industry relative to that. So we think it's a really good opportunity at the right time to come together is how do we continue to work, work safely, proactively on a going forward basis. And we want to have some of that education, training, whatever you want to call it, at Expo this year. Across the country, we have different, different rules and, and you know, things are changing. But uh, I'm just wondering, is there any universal uh, advice that you can give to uh, our viewers about just how to navigate the, the troubled waters we're in right now? That part of it's frustrating in that, especially if you live on a, a state line. Uh, we do. I'm wearing my Louisville hat here. I'm promoting Louisville. But there's a challenge right now. I have uh, my family's in Indiana and I have a lot of friends in Kentucky. But where there's a state line and the states are different, they're not opening together, if you will, because there's not commonality. Uh, we're all in this together. No one is an island, right? 
And so we need to work collaboratively and collectively, put politics aside and find a pathway forward that's safe. The challenges I think are how are we gonna get reopened technically, if you will, and in a meaningful way. We need to resolve the differences between jurisdictions. I think that sorts out pretty quickly. I think most everyone is gonna be quote unquote open for business June 1 after Memorial Day. And I think there's a recognition now, I don't necessarily know that I agree with it, that we've got to reopen and let the chips fall where they may. Now, the nice thing about our industry, look, nature, nature doesn't stop. Nature has moved forward. Uh, we're having a dandy spring. I mean, where I live, we're having an extraordinary spring. We need to maintain those outdoor spaces so we can utilize them. And that means our services are critically needed. So we need to go back to work and stay at work. Chris, you guys are doing a, a really nice job about keeping the industry posted on, on what's going on with GIE Expo. What's your long-term plan on how you're going to keep communicating with us, uh, the people who are hoping to make plans, you know, when, when the time is right to actually get on the road? Uh, what, what, how are you going to yep. do that moving forward? We'd encourage you now to register now. Obviously, whatever monies, if for some reason the show has not had those monies are refunded, we'd encourage you to open to register now. Registration is now open. Uh, and get a hotel room now. I just looked at the hotel room sheets literally before I got on this, uh, this call. Uh, the hotels are filling up. The hotel numbers look good. Uh, hotels will be back open. So I'm encouraging people, if you're thinking about coming, plan for it. Those things can be refunded or uh, if you need be, but I would get your registrations and your hotels in place. Uh, we'll continue to communicate from GI Plus Expo and their website. Now it is a fluid situation and it can change. Um, again, we don't know. We, we believe the show will go on. That we really do believe. But under what circumstances, what restrictions, what, how many personnel, et cetera, what days, if we have to modify hours in there, that's all fluid, but we do expect the show to go on. Okay. Well, Chris, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll let you get back to what you're doing, but will, you'll keep us posted here at LM, I hope, too, as well. We'll, we'll check in with you again uh, closer to the date. Does that sound okay? Thank you, Seth. Okay, everybody, this is Chris Kaiser. He's the uh, president and CEO of OPEI. I'm Seth Jones, editor-in-chief of Landscape Management Magazine. And thank you to Chris, and thank you to all the viewers for checking in with us here at Landscape Management Home Edition.